It's not that I'm sad, I'm emotional, but I'm not emotional because she's leaving me. I'm like, just, I can't do this. I'm just happy she's going somewhere better. My fellow sniffers, flighters, and newbies, welcome to my channel. My name is Marlene McCohen. We're on our way to the vet. I wanna give you more details, but I'm actually late and I need to be there at four. And right now the nav says I'll be there at, whoa, at 4.07, I gotta go. I'll give you a, an update when I park or when I'm waiting. <gasps> Okay, I have lots to tell you, a lot to tell you. You guys are gonna be like, what? So here it goes. First of all, how gorgeous is this wall? I don't know if I'm gonna film like the doctor because I don't, I don't put cameras on people's faces, especially vets because they're working, you know? I don't know if you guys know this. You would know if you watch my Instagram, but Pablita, that's the little budgie, comes here every few weeks, maybe like every month or every three weeks to get a beak trim. She has a split bottom beak. So here's what's happening. You guys haven't seen much of Pablita on the show because she's so tiny that she like flies around the house and hides where my other birds are. And like she can sit, she sits on stands and hangs out too, but I just feel that she needs a better life. She needs somebody who is going to just be able to give her the time that she needs and ultimately every bird that I have that's the big goal I want them to be able to have the time and interaction and honestly in my house it's just not working with her because some of my birds are so large you know and I want her to have a friend um, I would love her to have another parakeet friend if that works out if not I want her to get all the love and attention that she deserves so Pablita is getting rehomed and and today we're at the vet for the beak trim obviously but also to get paperwork because she's going to be lying out of California but here is the amazing news I'm really specific about who birds go to I mean I feel like when a bird comes into my care that's why it takes so long to rehome them is because they have to go to the perfect place and I found the most perfect companion for Pablita. So someone is flying out. I chose this person very specifically. I would not give this bird to anybody that I didn't think would take better care of the bird than me. Let's be honest, she's gonna take much better care of Pablita. She's gonna do better with bonding with Pablita. She's gonna have more time for Pablita. And she has parakeets of her own which she is so incredibly amazing with. So when I told her, I think you're kind of the perfect person for Pablita, I didn't think this dream would come true that she would actually have her, but they're flying out here and they're going to take Pablita home. And I've already seen Pablita's cage set up. It's amazing. It's a dreamland compared to where she is now. That's what I want for her. The best part of all this is that you guys are gonna get to follow Pablita's journey because she is another fellow YouTuber. Really proud of her, and I really think this is going to be a great fit. So we got our certificate. Yep, look at all these guys working hard. Got her in there. Are you ready? Oh my God. Look, I have somebody who wants to meet you. It's not Grando. <laughs> You're so cute. Isn't oh she? my god. Is it the best? It's the best. Come over here. It's like, like sweet. <laughs> we have to explain this. We have not explained well, what's happening. People need to like introduce. You probably know her. If you don't, you should know her. She's very up and coming and very talented and adorable. You're gonna get to follow her and see Pablita's life. So, introducing Elle from Live Laugh Birds. <laughs> Go to her channel to see like her journey to get here and what it was like when she first came in the house. Cause you know, I didn't film that part. She still hasn't met all of the birds, so we're gonna introduce her to all of the birds, but why don't you tell them a little bit about your channel 
and maybe how how did this happen because she does not live in los angeles okay <laughs> she flew here from chicago right yeah from chicago <laughs> how windy is it there right now it's like snowing and there's like five inches of snow oh my god i used to live in iowa so i used to go to chicago a lot there was the mall and then there was the marina and i just was blew away into the marina i have a channel called live laugh birds and i basically teach people about how to take care of birds it's mostly like educational videos i have four birds right now i'm about to have five i have uh two budgies i have a cockatiel and i have a green cheek conure named kermit my birds are just <laughs> adorable <laughs> you're so cute i love brando so much i've been watching marlene for four years oh my god that's so four cool. years and she's an inspiration. Oh, I am so excited. No. You know what she did? She sent me a video <laughs> of her parakeet saying, hello, my sniffer. I'm a sniffer. And I yes. Like, I was like, I wish you could have Pablita because you would be so amazing with her. You would have more time to interact with her. Pablita would have a friend. You know, Pablita, I think, needs a friend. If she's open to it, you will see what she'll see. I trust her. She sent me pictures of the cage. Big, beautiful setup. So I want you guys to follow her and follow the journey with Pablita. So now that you know all that information, let's watch her meet all the birds. <laughs> Okay. Does anyone want tea or coffee or anything? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, no. I have water. <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm right, Jeez, stop! Let's <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I'm dying. Let's look at this. <gasps> Did you? You found this somewhere? Yeah. How? I don't know. It had a carrot, so I showed it to her. She's like, yeah, that oh works. Oh my god, this like, is amazing. Oh my gosh. Like, Oh my god. What is this? It's, it's just green tea. You try drinking it. Yeah. Wait, uh, you want to see my loose tea collection? <laughs> that is loose tea. <laughs> it's huge. I love loose teas. Check this out. Oh. Bottom is all loose tea. Oh my god. Jersey has her own loose tea. Bag. I know. It's the best one. This is amazing. Okay. So what kind of tea is this? It's just like green tea. But Stop, it's like I love green, green tea. tea. Yeah. Do we want this? Do you guys want to drink it now? Uh, sure. Yeah, yeah you do. I get green tea. This is how I have to do everything with this guy. Who are you most excited about meeting? Well, you better say Brando. Brando was like, you. <laughs> all right, so Brando makes all the other birds jealous. Okay. But still, let's first meet Iluka. Oh, baby. You're so you cute. You guys should go on her channel for her first reaction to seeing some of these birds. You're so cute. But I'm going to introduce her now to the ones that she You're hasn't so met. Cute. Okay, Maybe. so I'm going to bring you Vinny. Are you ready? Vinny. Say right yes. Here. Vinny. Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let him in. 
<laughs> it's my uncle. Don't let him in. <laughs> I'm going to take the bird in another room and then you can let him in. Vinny, tell them to come in. Did you see he brought all those lemons? Vinny's favorite person to dive bomb is Johnny and he waits for Johnny to come out of the room okay. and he goes, Johnny, come here. Johnny, come, Johnny, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah he goes, I see him. You see him? And I've heard Johnny many times running down the hallway with Vinny chasing him. <laughs> yep, you do too. I'm gonna hold Vinny. Mm -hmm. So, all right. All right. <gasps> Hi. Careful your face. Yeah. For two okay. reasons. Two reasons. One, you have another bird in the mix. Yeah. So they're both gonna be jealous of each other. Okay. And two, Vinny, if you never want a bird to bite your lip, it's the worst feeling. Yeah. And, and uh, every bird you ever meet is unpredictable until you know them. Does that make okay. sense? Yeah. I didn't even introduce you to Merlin and Cody. Down the staircase. I just want to teach you something real quick. Okay. Birds have flight patterns. I know Vinny wants to fly up here. I'm technically yeah. blocking his flight pattern. Like he mentally knows like he can't just take off. So okay. this is like a way to get up. Technically, once I get here, there's so much more open space that you can still take off. So you have to be that in tune with them. Like there's a good chance I'll lose him right over here because I can't, right? It's Cody! Yeah. Step up. Hi, Cody. You're so cute. You're so cute. You're so cute. Do you hear blue? The blue's like, where? Where's Leo? Okay, come down. I probably have to go get blue down. Okay, come on, blue. Oh, there she goes. Come get the shot of blue. So funny. Official. I brought the bird up here right now to kind of just introduce her to the bird and kind of, you know, talk to her a little bit about the bird. More so, she knows all this, but obviously, so you guys can see too what's going on. This is Pablita. This is Pablita. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. You're a big time bird. You're moving to Chicago from Los Angeles. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to show up on the scene. You're going to show them your little beak and you're going to be like, yeah. I know I'm special. Is yeah. it like a backpack? It's a yeah. yeah, it is a backpack. <gasps> Stop! It's a backpack for oh birds! Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute. I know, it's called a Paco bird. That's what she's gonna travel home in. And then we've also got a, a cage for her to stay in at the hotel. I don't know if I have any birds that fit in this size, but. Brando would. You think? Yeah. I don't know. Brando's like a cockatiel size. He's so cute. Oh my god. He Brando. wants me to eat. <gasps> Brando's a Look at Brando. Brenda's a she. This just proves, guys, a lot of you were like, you spilled the beans. I'm like, no, I didn't. I honestly didn't know. I just always called her a he or a she or whatever until we didn't know. So, okay. but I realized that everything is taken very seriously. Oh, we're gonna witness their first interaction. interaction. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just gonna like start by feeding her millet if she wants it. I'm not gonna put my hand in there and ask her to step up, but it looks like she doesn't want it right now. I think she's a little stressed right now. I mean, she also just got moved up to like here, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to lose trust. But you can leave the millet in so that she can, she can understand that. Yeah, the other birds like teach each other how to do things. Like mm -hmm. my Conyer Kermit, like he uses a foraging toy and then Pearl will like use the foraging toy too. and. Kermit basically like teaches her to do things That's that she wouldn't do on her own that I didn't even teach Pearl to do. So yeah, maybe Pearl will come on, step up on me and then Pablita will see that and then Oh, for sure. Yeah. The, the beginning, my friend that gave her to me was working with her, and he, this guy doesn't really know anything about birds particularly, but yeah. he was like giving her Nutra berries, and she would come on his hand and everything like that. So she just needs a little more time to be like in the calm environment because she gets spastic all over again. You know, she just needs time. And guys, budgies deserve to be engaged, not caged, just as much as larger birds. Some people don't realize that and keep their budgies in cages all the time you know and they don't they don't make a lot of complaints you know and like yeah. we have to be the voice of the birds they're just as intelligent as the large parrots and they need to be let out they need to be worked with and you can train a budgie just like you can a larger bird my little budgies like they fly to me on command they do the recall 
they do tricks, they can do anything. They're just as deserving of love and attention. And it's really sad because people impulse buy them because they're so cheap. Anyone can get a budgie. And nobody really like knows you know, how much potential these birds have. Budgie awareness needs to be more communicated because they're awesome little birds. Hashtag budgie awareness. I was just gonna say she should have <laughs> yeah. her own hashtag budgie awareness. Budgie I think that's awareness. a really- Yeah, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Little budgies, like, they don't really like want me to sniff them. Like, they- I'm not saying she assumes yeah. sniffer position. <laughs> okay, she oh doesn't God. exactly assume sniffer position, but yeah. she smells really good. You can like hold her, like, you know, I always steal the sniff. Even with blue, when I'm holding blue, I- my Kanye Kermit, he just like, he'll sit on my shoulder and he'll just actually like get into the sniffer position. I'm telling you, he's like, he like nuzzles against me and I can just like put my nose right under him and he's just like so easy to sniff. Go potty, go potty. Right now, stretch. We're both stretching so, together. They always like raise their wings before. Now go potty. Yeah, do the big stretch. Mommy's doing the big stretch too. Now do the potty. More stretching. Oh my God, so much stretching to do. Stretch. Oh, we're doing yoga now. Mm. Long story short, I got a call from a friend who found a bird and needs help finding the bird home, but he can't like obviously take care of a bird. So until we find the home, I have the bird. So, um, See, this is why I can't be a public speaker, because everything makes me emotional. But it's time. It's time for Publita to go to her new home. She may be renamed, which I'm okay with. So I'm really happy for her. I'm sad. It's not that I'm sad, I'm emotional, but I'm not emotional because she's leaving me. I'm like, just, I can't do this. I'm just happy she's going somewhere better. So, that's, and seen. But honestly, like I don't have like a hard time letting her go at all. Like I, she, she needs better, so. Oh my God. So I... that's it. And Jersey's in the background like freaking out. She's like, what's happening? What is going on here? Shall I alert the authorities? <laughs> <laughs> right, Jersey? You know, in the wild, cockatoos alert. <laughs> they actually can alert the forest of fires. <laughs> okay, so are you ready? Okay. Yeah. They're so cute. I know. Well, let me get so my mask. Look at this. Oh. New bag. Such a nice bag. Right? Mm. I can't wait. Have you meet all of our birds? Oh my God, please get the reaction. Oh totally, I'm gonna, um, when she's done with quarantine, I'm gonna uh, do my bird's reaction to meeting all of my birds. Yeah, that'll <laughs> and, be And entering the bird room. Yeah, oh my God, the that's bird gonna room. be funny. Oh, she's gonna eat? Did she eat already? She was reaching for it. You're so cute. Do you have any names picked up? I have no idea yet. I don't know yet. You don't know. So cute. She's gonna be so happy with our birds. Oh, she's gonna be really happy. I'm gonna train her. Are you crying, Megan? Are you crying? No. Are you crying? No. You're crying? No. I'm not crying. You're crying. You just cried. It's okay, Molly. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. No, I'm really happy. You're gonna be amazing. It's okay. She's going to us. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just, uh... Take Brando back if you don't mind. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Do you want to go in there too? Oh. No. Donuts in my sleep. My name.
name is Jersey. I'm the donut thief. I steal donuts in my sleep. She did what? <laughs> and... My name is Jersey. I'm a donut thief. <laughs>